morning YouTube. So once again here is X-Ray Ed with X-Ray Education and today we're going to be talking just briefly, I'm going to try to keep this short, we're going to be talking about transformer law. Okay this is one of those things that the registry is going to want you to know and they'll you know maybe hit you with a couple of basic problems so um, here's some information you can use to answer these kinds of questions. So when you're looking at a transformer, whether it's a step-up transformer or a step-down transformer, you're going to be using the same law. Uh, voltage on the secondary side of the transformer divided by the voltage on the primary side of the transformer is equal to the number of turns on the secondary side divided by the number of turns on the primary side. So for example, you can imagine a case where I might have 220 volts to play with, right? So 220 is going to become my voltage primary. Okay, so I've got 220, uh, I don't have that marker. Okay, so I've got 220, and then for my secondary voltage, um, I've got some unknown quantity. I'm going to figure that out in just a minute. And let's say that the manufacturer has told me that this particular transformer has uh, 20,000 turns on the secondary and it has 500 turns on the primary. Okay, now, since my number of turns on the secondary is higher than my number of turns on the primary, well, that's going to be a step-up transformer. It's going to step up the voltage, right? Okay, so how much is it going to step the voltage up? Well, with the help of my calculator, because these numbers are just too much for me to manage in my head, we will quickly discover, well, here it goes, scientific calculator. Now, in our curriculum, we don't let people use programmable calculators, but scientific calculators are great. Okay, so anyway, and, and you can do this with just any old basic calculator. So I've got 220 volts. I'm going to put that in, 220 times 20,000 okay so that's going to be equal to like 4,400,000 that's a bunch okay now I'm going to divide that by my 500 alright so what I'm going to wind up with if I have 220 volts and then this is the setup on my transformer then I'm going to wind up with Sorry, got to put on my glasses. Okay, so I'm going to wind up with 8,800 volts. So my voltage secondary is going to be 8,800. Now I'm assuming everybody's familiar with the concept of cross multiply and divide. When you have a situation like this where you have uh, you have two quantities being equal to two other quantities, um, and they're in a fractional format, then what you can do is just, you know, okay, so we're solving for Vs in this case, so we're just going to take our 220 and then we're going to cross multiply, multiply that by the 20,000 and then divide by 500. That's what I mean by cross multiply and divide. So my voltage on the secondary is going to be 8,800 volts. Okay, and you might be thinking, well, that's not enough to make an x-ray with true. I'm going to need a much higher turns ratio here if I want to get up to where I can, you know, really make some um, electricity, uh, some, some high voltage electricity that I can actually use to make an x-ray with. Because remember, most of the time, what are we using? We're using like uh, 80,000 volts, 100,000, 120,000 for chest x-rays. So we're going to need a pretty substantial um, primary transformer. But, just wanted to go over this. Now, suppose that I do get a better transformer. Okay, so I've still got my, well, let's adjust this. Let's say I've run through an auto transformer, and I've increased my voltage. So my, my primary voltage going into the high voltage transformer now, let's say I've got 300 volts. Okay, and, and let's change transformers. Let's get us a better transformer. 
let's pretend like we've got a transformer that has like 100,000 turns on the secondary but only 100 turns on the primary. Okay, same kind of deal. I've got 300 volts going in. Okay, so 300. And then I'm going to multiply that by 100,000. Okay, so that's a big old number. And then I'm going to divide that by 100. Okay, so that's going to wind up being 300,000 volts. Youch! Okay, so maybe my transformer was a little too strong. Let's change this a little bit. Let's put another zero there. So now my transformer has 100,000 volts on the secondary and 1,000 on the primary. So now whenever we do our multiplication, we'll say 300 times 100,000 divided by 1,000. Okay, so that's going to wind up being 30,000. So my voltage secondary is going to be 30,000 volts. Or, if you want to think of it in these terms, uh, 30 um, kilovolts, 30 kVp, okay, which is very, very low, but this is just for illustrative purposes. Okay, now there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys um, before I call it quits for today. So now we've done some multiplication. We figured out how to use cross, multiply, and divide to figure out our secondary voltage. And by the way, you can use cross, multiply, and divide. As long as you've got three of these numbers, you can figure out the missing value. So if you have secondary voltage and number of turns, then you can figure out the primary voltage. And same thing, if you've got the voltages, then you can figure out the number of secondary or the number of primary turns or the uh, turns ratio. Okay, now turns ratio is something that sometimes people get confused about. But there's no need to be confused. This is really, really easy. The way this thing works is this. Okay, turns ratio, we'll just call it T, is equal to number of turns on the secondary over number of turns on the primary, but reduced down. Okay, now your turns ratio is always going to be some number to one. So it's going to be, you know, question to one. Um, and that's just a convention. So, like if you had a, a 50 to 1, that would be equivalent to a 100 to 2. But we don't say 100 to 2, we say 50 to 1, um, just like I said, because of convention. So, let's pretend like we've got our transformer up here again, and this transformer has 100,000 turns on the secondary and it has a thousand turns on the primary. Okay, so if we reduce this fraction, what does it look like? Well, our turns ratio here is going to be a hundred thousand divided by a thousand just leaves us with a hundred. Okay, and you can just figure this out for any numbers on your calculator. So this particular transformer is going to be a 100 to 1. So whatever voltage I put onto this thing is going to get multiplied by a factor of 100. Now, most transformers you're going to run into in x-ray are like 800 to 1 or 1,000 to 1, something like that. And so you can imagine a situation where if you had like 800,000 turns on the secondary and 1,000 turns on the primary, well then that's going to give you a transformer that is 800 to 1. Let's just put some random numbers in here. And we're going to figure out the turns ratio. Okay, so I tell you that this particular transformer has um, 330,000 turns on the secondary and 600 turns on the primary. 
Okay, so what is that ratio? Well, I don't know, but I've got this calculator. So let's do this thing. Oops, I didn't mean to turn it off. 330 divided by 600 is 550. So this particular transformer has a turns ratio of 5. Ah, oh, there's that red pen again. Okay, the red pen is almost out of ink, so the heck with that. Okay, so this is 550. 550 to 1. All right, well, what if we have a little bit different situation? Okay, now what, once you've got this turns ratio, you know that whatever voltage gets applied to this transformer, is gonna, the voltage is going to get multiplied by 550, and the amperage is going to get divided by 550. Okay, now, on the, on the um, X-ray circuit, we also have a low voltage side. Remember, we have to give um, low voltage to the filament uh, current, which we talked about in another video. So, on, for the filament circuit, I actually need a step-down transformer. Okay, so, if I've got a step-down transformer, it's going to work same way. Okay, so I've got the number of turns on the secondary over number of turns on the primary. So, but in a, in a step-down transformer, the numbers are going to be, I'm going to have the smaller number on top, right? Because now I've got more turns on the secondary than the primary. So, um, my secondary uh, number of turns, let's pretend like that's um, 800. And pretend like my primary number of turns is something like 25,000. Okay, so how can I talk about this particular transformer? Okay, well, we're going to go, we're going to do the exact same thing. Um, we can do a couple different ways. We can say 800 over 25,000 and then reciprocate that, or we can say 25,000 over 800 and then just make it, you know, one to uh, whatever that number is going to wind up being. But let's do the first thing first. Okay, 800 divided by 25,000 is going to be some really small number, okay? But then we're going to reciprocate that dude with the help of our reciprocal key, and we're going to come up with 31.25. So this particular transformer has a turns ratio of 1 to... 31.25. And we could have gone the opposite way with it. Okay, so I'll just show you that for comparison purposes. If we say 25,000 divided by 800, okay, that's going to give us the same thing, 31.25. So if your calculator has a reciprocal function, then you can just do a straight division. If your calculator does not have a reciprocal function, then you can just invert this thing and divide it, and you're going to come up with the exact same answer. Okay, so for a step-down transformer, okay, uh, we're always going to have one to some number. Okay, in this case, 31.25. But it could be 1 to 50 or 1 to 100, um, whatever, you know, just depending on what your manufacturer tells you that particular transformer can do. So, turns ratio... is simply an expression of the number of turns on the secondary over number of turns on the primary. And the handy thing, like I said, about that turns ratio is once you've established it, then you can use it for all your computations. You're either going to be multiplying or dividing by that number, depending on whether you're stepping up or stepping down. Okay, so hopefully that's clear as mud, and everybody's got a good handle now on transformer law. Just remember the equation. Vs over Vp is equal to Ns over Np, and this Ns over Np also gives you your turns ratio. Okay, so that's going to be like, uh, you know, some number to one. 
or in the case of a step down transformer, it's going to be 1, 2, whatever your computation revealed. All right, I don't know if that's going to help anybody or not, but there it is. Uh, good luck on your registry, and I'll see you back here again for more x-ray education. Have a great day.